Welcome to LA Interview. My name is Joseph R. Millis. This week we conclude our three-part interview of Ang Kang Vu Kong. Kang is a multi-talented, prolific artist that creates fantastic masterpieces in sculpture, painting, jewelry design, graphics, and other media. That's Ang Kang Vu Kong next on LA Interview. <music> Is there anyone out there watching this who would like to uh, get in touch with this incredible artist here uh, and buy a few pieces? Uh, he's, you have paintings, sculpture, art, uh, print work. I mean, it, it, the list is endless. I mean, uh, just seeing, uh, walking around this apartment, seeing everything you've done, it's, it's already incredible. Um, you should definitely have an agent. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and, and of course, I, from speaking to you earlier, you told me you, you hold a regular job. Yes. How do, you, how do you find time to do all this work? Well, it has been a struggle all along because there's never enough time. But in reality, is I hold two jobs, one during the day and the other deep into the night. That's the fun job, right? Yes. <laughs> it's, art to me is like breathing. I'm sure. And uh, I need it to survive. Yes, absolutely. Somebody like you would have to constantly be doing what they love to do. Um, are you working on anything special right now? I al always have several projects going on at the same time. Uh, currently, there is a block print that I'm working on. And I'm also finishing up a uh, an oil painting with uh, the Mexican theme inspired by my recent trip to, uh, to Mexico. To Mexico. Oh, and uh, I also am working on a three and a half foot tall sculpture. It is a, it's a head, a uh, stylized head. Yes. And uh, it will be called the Asian. The Hopefully Asian. I, ca I capture in it the, the essence of uh, what it is to be an Asian. Uh, what is your uh, the process of creation? What, how do you conceptualize a piece, and uh, do you prepare for it? Does it come all at once? Uh, because everybody works differently. How do you approach yeah, that? Yeah, for uh, let's say for a sculpture, mm -hmm. usually it comes from a very uh, small sketch. I have okay, like sketch. there is an idea behind it, and right. then I make several sketches, yeah. and usually it takes. Several days. Several days. Yeah, until I come and I keep refining the line until I get something that that is pleasing to me. Right. right. And then I would think of what material will will be best for that particular shape. Right. And then go out and search for the appropriate material. Right. And and as you start working on it, does it? sometimes change uh, or, 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 or once you once you conceptualize it that's that's how it stays I pretty. usually just add on to it but not not change the basic not change, shape not the basic shape. shape yeah and what about other media for example uh, jewelry or uh, those wonderful uh, uh, lamps that you make how do they, they also start with a sketch yeah they all come from a sketch I and see. I work out the detail pretty much, uh -huh. so that there is no surprise, you know. Sometimes I will replace uh, a line with something else, right. but they always are, or make a line heavier or thinner. Right, wonderful. Well, Kang, uh, I'm so thoroughly impressed in, uh, by your talent and your uh, incredible uh, variety of, of mediums that you work in. Uh, I'm sure that, you know, 
soon you're going to be having great success. What, what's in the future for you? What, what, is, uh, what do you see yourself doing in the next uh, few months or years? I hope i will still be doing what I'm doing now, except doing them better. Better? Yeah. Okay. And also, <laughs> I would love to be able to, uh, to work on a large-scale sculpture for, for an outdoor oh. location. Yeah, I can see that you're and, doing something uh, like that. Hopefully, a commission will come in, in some time in the future. I'm sure it will, Kang. I'm sure it will. Well, uh, thank you so much for uh, coming to LA Interview. And we hope to see you soon again for some more of your wonderful art. Thank you very much. This concludes our third and last part of our conversation with Ang Kang Vukong. I hope you enjoy the show and that perhaps his appearance on LA Interview will motivate you to visit his website at www.vukong.com. Perhaps you'll purchase one of his beautiful sculptures or paintings and enhance the beauty of your home or business with one of his amazing pieces. Before we leave, we'd like to show you one last time more images of Kang's beautiful artwork. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on LA Interview.